brother's place uh, there at the gold mine where he's working anyway. And uh, we had a great time there. We spent uh, seven nights. Yeah, and, eight. Uh, yeah, so we had a really nice time there visiting with them and uh, all the people there. And we would like to definitely thank them. Yes, we would definitely like to, to thank Scott and Dixie and in Molly and of course his brother and our nephew for letting us stay for a week and yeah we had a great time and uh, now and also we met up with some friends there oh uh, yes yeah so yes. Dale and I kind of have a mutual friend and uh, they came out to visit Dale too at the same time and now they're traveling south with us down to Lake Havasu for yep, a couple they're gonna uh, spend a week with us yeah <laughs> So, so that'd nice. be fun. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to have company and uh, other people to travel with and talk definitely, with and, definitely. Yeah. Not that I don't like talking with you, baby, but it's <laughs> nice to talk to other people. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. Lake Havasu, here we go. That's where we're headed. We blew a hose or something somewhere and it's overheating so from our destination and what happens baby uh engine temperature got hot and uh looks like we've been losing coolant for a little while i think it is a uh, coolant line to the turbo i'm not sure yet um but we ended up putting a lot of uh, water in it just to uh get it filled back up and it actually it says the coolant level is low right now a little bit but the temperature is good um so I think we'll probably make it down here. It's only four and a half miles downhill. And uh, well, I need to turn here soon. Anyway, um, we'll figure out what it is and get her patched up here, I guess. So you gotta expect to have some problems. This thing has a lot of miles on it. So 200 and, oh, I don't know, where are we at here? 237,000 miles on it. So yeah, you're gonna run into something now and then. But, uh, we're pretty prepared to fix it. The worst thing that could happen is order some parts or, you know, whatever. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's kind of one of my worst nightmares in a way, like trying to figure out how to fix your rig on the road. But 30 years yes. of being a mechanic, I think I got her. Yes. It's a good thing I'm married to a mechanic. Turn right at the truck. I'm not panicking. Line. Might be time for a new truck eventually, though. <laughs> problem soft rotten out hose all right while we're at it we're putting on two new heater hoses along with these quick couplings that go on to the heater core because anybody in those General Motors uh, knows that these things break and look at this thing how brown and discolored it is so as long as we're doing some heater hoses and uh, this EGR hose, we're going to take care of a few other problems at the same time. The parts for the truck are in. Yay! Jeff is in there right now getting the parts. 
we have been broken down since Monday. It's Wednesday. And hopefully he can get it fixed today. Crossing my fingers. It has been rainy in Lake Havasu, so we haven't been able to do anything. Tomorrow is our last day, and it's supposed to be nicer tomorrow. No rain, but a little cloudy, hopefully. So hopefully tomorrow we can get out. The truck will be fixed, and we can get out and show you around some Lake Havasu. Hopefully, crossing my fingers again, <laughs> that all the parts are in and the truck gets fixed and the weather works out because we're leaving on Friday to Quartzsite. So, hopefully, I'm hoping because <laughs> I want to go and I want to see the London Bridge and see the go down by the water and look at the shops and stuff like that and there is an island um, here and we'll take you around the island hopefully we drove around a little bit yesterday in the rain um, it was hard to film anything yesterday because it was raining pretty hard so hopefully tomorrow we can show you some stuff He better be messing with me. I don't like it when he shakes his head. He better be messing with me though. Are you messing with me? No, I'm not messing with you. We didn't get all our parts? No, nope, it's on back order. What's on back order? The part we actually need. Oh, crap. It's on back order. Nuh-uh. It is. I'm serious. We got the two um, heater core hoses that come off the heater core, but the part we need is on back order. What are we going to do? Well, they are ordering it from another dealer. So what he did is he created what they call a SPAC case, and that's through General Motors, and General Motors will locate another dealer that has it, send them the shipping labels, and then they overnight it. So, but he won't have the information and actually until tomorrow knowing where it's coming from or anything. He has to wait overnight before he even knows where it might be coming from. There's nobody like in the area that he can just call and say, send it to me overnight. There's nobody, you know, within a certain radius or whatever. So apparently we're staying in Lake Havasu longer than Maybe. what we wanted. Well, tomorrow if he overnights it, then it will get here on Friday. We're leaving on Friday. Right. Well, tomorrow is Thursday. No, it could show up tomorrow. But he won't know where it's coming from until tomorrow. Right. It still doesn't make sense to me. It means General Motors doesn't have any. So they're going to ship it out today, but he just doesn't know where it's coming from. If there's one that's located and they get it out today, yes. Why does this stress me so? We might be here for the weekend. I guess you might see some like Havasu. Hmm. That is not good because our internet sucks here. It sucks terrible. Like not a little suck, but really suck. It works, but. Okay, baby, what's the new game plan? Well, the new game plan is I'm gonna go in here and see if this hose will work. Um, it's got a little bit of a bend in it, and the hose back there has a little more bend in it, but I think it's going to be okay. Um, so the part we want is on back order, and we don't know when we can get it. And I've searched all over the World Wide Web, and no luck. It seems odd. 2011 Chevy truck, um, and it's just basically a heater hose that comes off the EGR cooler. So, uh, I've been to CarQuest, and well, of course the dealership, um, all over in the World Wide Web, CarQuest, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, uh, and then finally I found this uh, place here in town that supplies all the boat uh, builders here in town. So there's lots of boat builders here in Lake Havasu. And uh, the hose I need is 7 eighths of an inch which is not a very common automotive size, especially with a bend in it. So um, one place that was supposed to have a hose didn't have it because they uh, were out of stock and then they went to check to see if they could order it and then they couldn't order it. Been quite the fiasco. So we're gonna dig in here, 
take the old hose off, see if I can get this one in there without it kinking, and if it's all appropriate and everything, we'll be good to go. Um, we'll just play it by ear, see what happens. But this is good quality hose. Um, probably better quality than is actually on the vehicle now. So, see what happens. I've already had this thing apart three times, I think, here. So, <laughs> I haven't put all the nuts and bolts back in it every time. Because I have to get back there and do some measuring and this and that. So. Let's hope this is the last time, baby. Not to mention you're not supposed to work on your RV in the RV park. But... Shh, don't tell him. Nima says shh. So, let's hope we don't get thrown out of the RV park. So, let's go see how Jeff is doing on the truck. How's it going, baby? It's going okay. Yeah? Yeah. Back to work. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Improvising with the tools we got. Is is the hose gonna work? I don't know yet. Oh, you don't know yet? I don't know yet. You I haven't got that far? I haven't got that far. I hope so because Next time I go to the parts store, I'll be on my bicycle. <laughs> and it's about five miles away. So. Uh oh. Uh, you can't throw her back together real fast, huh? No, not at this point. That's what I was trying to avoid. And now we're back to, back to where we were. exploring Lake Havasu and the truck is not fixed yet. No, our friends came and got us. Thank goodness because if we had to spend one more day in that trailer I think I was gonna kill him but <laughs> our internet is crap here so we can't get nothing done. So Nothing. I mean it is horrible. It's, it's really slow. So anyway right behind us is the London Bridge that is actually from London. They purchased it 53, 53 years, years ago. ago. Yeah from London. So it is literally the London Bridge. Yeah, it's pretty dang cool actually. It's really cool. We'll get you some more footage of it. Yeah. But today we're going... Oh, we're gonna go over to the casino on, on the California side. Yeah, we're yeah. taking a boat ride across the lake or river, whatever you want to call it, to the California side. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Let's do it. Train. This is cheaper than a hoo hoo. 
is short here in Lake Havasu. Mm -hmm. We just had lunch at the Blue Chair and it was delicious. delicious. And I think yummy, our company yummy. included will testify to that. Yes, yes we will. <laughs> was it all good, Sabrina? It was good. Thumbs up. <laughs> I thought Sabrina's the only one that matters. <laughs> yep. She's a food critic. They didn't have ice cream, but... Yeah, she's a little mad about that. <laughs> I really didn't expect this hose to show up on day three. So uh, the hose we tried to do yesterday was a complete failure. Um, there just wasn't room to get it in there and the hose kinked. So um, honestly, I didn't expect this hose to show up at the dealership today. Um, I thought I was gonna have to improvise, maybe get an elbow and put in there um, to get the kink out of the hose, but it showed up. Um, the job is done and see right there there's a split in the hose and uh, anyway and then we also put on a couple of heater hoses at the same time that go right through the same area um, and these plastic deals break a lot so uh, a couple new plastic couplers go to the heater core and this big old conglomeration of stuff here anyway got it all in fresh coolant in it and we're gonna go test drive it I think we're good to go though part of living on the road sometimes and I'm sure I haven't been caught working on the rig in the RV park yet but at some point that could become a problem we got her fixed up baby Woohoo! yay I can't see hardly <laughs> 